Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I am going to show you the overview for AICP ROM for Nexus 5. Now this ROM is based on CM12. Now AICP stands for Android Ice Cold Project. So let's check it out. Now this ROM provides Android version 5.0.2 and I am running the latest build of AICP that is version 8 with a nightly of Feb 19, 2015. Now let's check out the customization. Now customization menu can be seen under tab of personalization. Here the first option is AICP extras. Where the first customization menu is various sheet. Here you can disable the force close notification. Then next is you can enable the weather in your status bar. So as you can see I have enabled this weather. So you will see weather in my status bar. Then next is lock screen weather. You can enable or disable the lock screen weather. Then next option is boot animation. Here you can customize your boot animation. Means you can insert any boot animation zip file here. So it's a good option in this ROM. Here you can change the C lock settings. Means means you can customize the lock screen clock widget. Then next is network traffic. Here you can enable the network traffic monitor over the status bar. Then you can change the color style of the monitor. Then you can change the display unit and the update interval. And you can also auto hide the monitor if the network is inactive. And the next is ad blocker. Here you can enable or disable the ad blocker for your system. You can also update the host file for your ad blocker. The next customer menu is display and animations. Here you can customize the system animations, list view animation, and toast animation. And you can also customize the LCD density. The next customization option is recent panel setting. Here you can enable the clear all button in recent menu. Then you can change the position for button to top right, top left, top center, bottom right, bottom left and bottom center. Then you can enable the clear all button as a clear all task button means it will clear all the foreground and background tasks. Then you can enable the search bar in recent menu or you can disable it. And the ROM has provided the option of Omni switch, means you can enable the Omni switch instead of recent menu. So when you enable Omni switch, it will show you this UI. Here you can clear all the tasks, then you can open the app drawer here only, then you can go to home button from here. So it's a good option to have. Here you can customize all the options of Omni switch. The next customization option is Gesture Anywhere. You can enable Gesture Anywhere feature on your ROM. Means you can assign a specific gesture for any app opening or app closing. So you have to draw this gesture on the screen and it will open that specific app. You can customize the width, position and height of a trigger region. And you can also customize the location of a trigger region. That is left edge or right edge. The next is App Circle Bar. By enabling this option, you can enable a circle bar, means it will show the app in a circular scrolling manner. You can customize the apps inside this scrolling pattern. You can also customize the trigger width, trigger position and trigger height of the trigger region. Then next is AICP OTA. Here you can check for OTA updates of the AICP ROM. So you can directly install the latest update from this menu. The next option is interface. Here one customize the notification driver and status bar. So let's go to the notification driver first. Here you can change the order for tiles and you can also add tiles to the quick setting menu. You can enable the four tiles per row. So as you can see I have enabled it so you will see four tiles in a row. Then next is auto close panel. It will close the quick setting panel automatically. Then next is enlarge first row. It will enlarge the first row of quick setting menu. So if I enable this, my first row will be enlarged. Then next is brightness slider. You can enable or disable the brightness slider in a quick setting menu. So I have enabled it so you will see brightness slider in my quick setting menu. Then next is detailed Wi-Fi view. It will show the details of a Wi-Fi. So as you can see, 
it is showing me detailed menu of Wi-Fi. Then next is advanced location in quick setting. It will enable the advanced menu for your location toggle. So when I click on location toggle, it will give me the advanced menu. Then next is quick pull down. It will enable the quick pull down of quick setting from a right edge or a left edge of status bar. Then next custom icon is status bar. Here you can customize the clock and date. Where you can change the color of clock. Then you can change the alignment of clock that is to uh, center or right. Then you can enable the AMP indicator. Then you can enable the date. Then you can change the date format. And you can also change the clock font. Then next option is brightness control. You can enable the brightness control over status bar. Means you can adjust the brightness just by swiping your finger across status bar. Then next is double tap to sleep. You can enable the double tap to sleep feature over status bar. Means by double tapping on a status bar, your device will go to sleep. Then next is notification ticker. It will enable the text animation for your notification in status bar. Then next is notification count. It will enable the count for your notification. And the next is battery settings. Where you can customize the battery status style, that is to icon portrait, icon landscape, circle, text or hidden. Then you can enable the battery percentage, inside icon, next to icon or keep it hidden. You can also enable the battery bar, that is above status bar, or top of nav bar or bottom of nav bar. Then you can change the color for the battery bar. Then you can change the alignment of battery bar. You can also vary the thickness of battery bar. And you can also enable the charging animation for your battery bar. As the ROM is based on CM12, this ROM also has theme engine. So you can customize this ROM using a theme engine. You can find the uh, you can find the CM12 themes in a Play Store. The next customization can be seen under tab of buttons. Here you can enable the left-handed mode. Means when you turn your screen into landscape mode, the navigation bar will shift to left hand. So it is good for left-hander. Then you can enable the arrow keys while typing, means it will show the arrow keys on navigation bar while typing. So it will make easy to move your cursor. Then next is buttons and layout. You can customize the buttons and layout of the navigation bar. You can add an extra button for menu or search button or as an empty button. You can add up to 5 buttons in your navigation bar. Then next is dimension of navigation bar. Here we will customize the height and width of the navigation bar. Then next is navigation button tint. Here you can give a specific color for your navigation bar buttons. So when I click on red, as you can see my navigation buttons are turned to red. Then next is enable navigation ring. You can enable the navigation ring. Means by holding on home button, you will see the navigation ring will appear. Then you can customize the navigation ring. Means you can customize the navigation ring targets just by click on edit button and you can add a specific app for a specific target. Then next is power menu. You can customize the power menu through this option. You can choose between these toggles that will appear in your power menu. Then next is end call button. It will enable your power button as the end call button. Then next option is you can enable your volume buttons for waking up your device. Then you can also enable the volume key for answering of the call. Now inside display menu, you can find the ambient display. Here you can enable or disable the ambient display. Here you can also select the different dose mode for the ambient display. It means full mode, pocket and shake mode, pocket and pulse mode, or only pocket mode, or shake and pulse mode. Otherwise the pulse mode is default. Then next is you can enable or disable clock and date on your ambient display screen. Then you can also customize the time setting for your ambient display. Then you can also customize the shake of your device. Means for what amount of shake your device will show the ambient display. Then there is the option of expanded desktop also. Means you can enable the expanded desktop for all your apps or for a specific app through this option. Now here is the option of color calibration, where you can calibrate the colors of your device. 
then next option is system profile you can choose different system profiles from this option you can also add a customized profile also then the rom has also provided the privacy settings here you can enable the privacy guard for your app then you can enable the blacklist for unwanted sms and calls and there is the option of wiper push also Now talking about battle life, I have tested the battle life of this ROM in two ways. One with a stock kernel and one with a elemental X kernel. Now with the stock kernel, the battle lasted me about one day with a screen on time of three and a half hour to four hour. And with the elemental X kernel, the battery performance was similar to the stock kernel. The only advantage of the elemental X kernel was the standby time. As you can see, I am currently running the elemental X kernel. The standby time of this kernel is pretty good and also the screen on time of this kernel is pretty good. As you can see my battery is around 63% and my screen on time is about 2 hour and 10% so it's a good screen on time. So the ROM works pretty good on a stock kernel as well as the element based kernel. Both have similar performance. So you can go with any one of them. Both are best in performance. Now the AICP is pretty smooth, stable and fluid ROM. I have never noticed any lag during heavy gaming or a heavy multi-ass game. The ROM gives a stable performance. So I will recommend to you to check out this ROM. I will post the link for this ROM in my description so you can download it. So if you like this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more such video. Also you can follow me on Google Plus, Facebook and my blog. I will see you in my next video.